guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 23 of Hinakato Sky Pretty Curious. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So yeah, I woke up from my nap. I am still sleeping, but <laughs> I'm a little bit better than I was around like 4 o'clock. <laughs> Baby didn't even come to school. Oh, my shit all. Not there. Oh. <laughs> My depressed baby. Oh. That hurts. Like, damn. Oh. Masha, go get your wife. Go get the wife. Go get the wife. Oh my god. No! That's not cool. The wife is the only one that's going to be able to come to her because that's the wife! <laughs> You know, I kind of wish the Crunchyroll versions with the openings would still show promotion for the movies because, I mean, dang. Like, you already know their show. Like, I think with this episode that came out last week, they had to show something um, because we all... <laughs> pretty here Twitter went, like, bat-ish crazy um, a couple of days ago because of trailer for the movie, who all is going to be in it, because we're, we're going to talk about it, because, woo! I mean, all I'll say is that I was expecting everyone. I'm not mad about who they chose. I'm actually really excited about the reason of who they chose everybody. But at the same time, I get it. I just wish everybody was there. It would have been a little bit better. But I get it where they're like, okay, we only want to do a certain amount. And that's okay. Because baby weak. Her heart is broken. Mm -hmm. No, you're not.
I love the way they spell stew. Baby, you have to go. We know eventually Marshall's gonna have to go, but I get it. Of course you can. No. Oh, I know, I know, it's okay! That's right. Baby gotta fight her inner demons right now. She's just, she's too much in her head. And even with this situation, it hurts her oh so much. Nope! You gonna go this time?
The baby dick is in the internet, bro! I'm rapping it in the Yes! Oh my god! Go, baby! Go, baby! Go, baby! Go! It feels so weird to hear, like, non-magical girl girly music in a transformation scene! <laughs> He's still gonna pose right- NO POSE?! <gasps> Really? Hold on, wait. Time out. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay. Read this. Possibly words of encouragement, which is what you really need right now. It's okay. Aww. You gotta be there for her. Oh, I thought she was going to say, you've been my hero. <laughs>
just need to stay a little bit of time at home to figure out your feelings. And also to have your wife write a letter and say, hey, you can still do it. Do you remember that one episode? I think it was like, what, for Kitty Kitty, where it got like hella depressing for Ichika? And not only Ichika, but, um. <laughs> Yukari. <laughs> and it was super depressing! It feels to that. <laughs> Excuse me. That's it. Thank God!
That's okay. Ten out of ten. Oh, it may be dream, but hold on. I'm so excited about dream because baby. But shouldn't it have been peach and then dream? No way. Yeah, I'm right. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it should have been fresh and then go go. So, um, what are we doing? Somebody messed up. I mean, you know, somebody ain't gonna get fired for that. I mean, it happens, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> 20, 20 years of this series that somebody just, you know, clearly messed up on, you know, <laughs> the roster, but that's okay. It's okay. It happens. It happens. Don't have it happen again, though. Um, this was good. Like, seriously. It, it does give you moments to any episode of Pretty Here where it's like the main character gets very much depressed. And you have to fight your inner demons and such about it. And so you really emphasize with that character and you're like, damn, like, okay, I understand or I can relate to this character so much because... At this time, when I was feeling like this, I felt like this, da 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 that I couldn't do anything, but because of this, I was able to, you know, make it through. And, you know, we've talked about, once again, some of these girls cannot, well, our girls, and one boy, um, can't really make it through. But I'm happy she did it, and I'm happy she is okay. Time. God, God, is it time? I have not looked at the, um, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it now. I, Cause it would make the most sense. Um, I gotta go to the, who is texting me? Oh, Emma. Um, I gotta go to the fucking pretty gear page, the pretty gear news page. Let's see. Um, maybe if I go, excuse me, media for it? Nope. Okay, we're on 23, so 24, Morningstar, Eltron, Secret, Exciting, Princess, let's go to the zoo, take off, feelings connected by an airplane. Now, 24 could be just the quote-unquote preview of her getting to be the final hero and such maybe but not slowly but surely emphasizing oh yeah she is final and such because we are really past mid-season well no in like two weeks we'll be at mid-season um so pretty much anything could happen but yeah, the episode was really sweet very heartwarming hell you got me to cry i mean we all know pretty here in a nutshell will always make me cry <laughs> It's making me think of every reaction that I've done from Kitty Kitty out all the way to now and me crying like a baby because I end up crying at like a moment or I end up tearing up and I look like a hot mess. And people are like, no, no, you're okay. And I'm over here like, no, I look like a mess crying over these characters. I'm like, oh my God. It's such, okay. But yes, it was good. I'm very excited for next week. But let's go ahead and get into the real meat of this. So, of course, yes, with this episode, um, the trailer for Pretty Cure All-Stars F came out, and then who all is going to be in it. Now, as I said, I think a lot of us were expecting every single cure from Cure Black all the way to freaking Cure Butterfly. That would have been 
a milestone for this series because then, of course, we would have had another world record of having all 70, some, 70 or 80 pretty cares all on one screen together all at once. But they decided not to do that and go back to still the new tradition of not, well, kind of a let's take the most recent cures, one, and put them together in a movie. But now it's like, let's take kind of favorites. And they're taking fan favorites from Go Princess all the way up to here. So when I saw this poster and I, I looked at it for a hot minute and I was just like, okay, and seeing who all is in this from what series. like, it, And it's funny because it's literally when I look at it, majority of it's ones that I've reacted to the most and then the one the last one that I watched on my own which is Go Princess um well no my, the last one that I watched on my own was Maho Girls and then the first one that I finally reacted to was Kitty Kitta but it, it is weird because Flora just represents no well no Flo, no 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 okay shut up Deja okay screw it we're just gonna go like this so it literally starts with Cure On the one Cure who I was not expecting to be on this she was the one I mean with her season she wasn't the one who I, well she was she really initially was because she was my favorite at first her and Homade were going back and forth up until Lala and Emily came in and they just stole my freaking heart. So I would have I would have assumed that they would have took, you know, hey, Emily and Lulu. I mean, that would have made, I mean, um, yeah, our, our little our baby robot and, you know, Emily together. But no, having Anjin here is very interesting. Different because it's Kira Ange, and I mean, Kira Ange still has like a really interesting story on her for her series and stuff, but it is a little weird to see her because I'm like, dang girl, I have not seen you since how long? But at least, you know, she gets to have like an appearance to represent her show. Then you got Laura. I am not surprised Laura is in this because Laura, she fan favorite. She is best girl. I mean, heck, her girlfriend. Her girlfriend is in this movie. So, I'm mad at that either. So, I, and I love that because my biggest thing was because, okay, number one, going to freaking Cure Summer, okay, my lovely <laughs> baby Mana too. With her, I mean, the last thing that I saw her in was JoJo. And so, I, even though I'm watching like Chainsaw Man at the same time and such, and we're all waiting for like the second half of Chainsaw Man to come out, whenever the heck that does, um... I, I am the type of person because I do like her say you in some roles, I will sometimes go back and rewatch things it, tremendously. Like I have not rewatched Tropical Rouge since the show ended, but when I get to hear her say you and other things, I'm like, oh well, I just hear this character. Like I haven't rewatched freaking um the uh the muscle show that she is in, her starring role, her her first freaking role. And such. So to have these two in it, I'm not surprised because, of course, you can't have one without the other. Now, going with best girl. All these girls are best girls. All of them. They, truly in their own way, they're all best girls. Some of them are my best girls and such that represent their show. And there's some... Mm, well, let me look at the list overall. No, really in the end, everybody is best girl. Truly, yeah. This is like best girls. It really is. Okay, because when we get to that one, I know I'm going to say something. So getting to Cure Earth, I think, you know, just like that, because we have we have two. Just as with Tropical Roots, we have another two. That's Earth and that's um, Grace. I was not expecting Earth. Because, see, everybody is like this with her in the fandom. Like, you either love her or you just, like, you don't. Um, but I'm mad at it. My love live baby slash what's your face from freaking Genshin Impact is to have a chance to come back again. And that means my baby, my puppy. <laughs> I really see puppy and mascots. Okay, now the next one, the queen. Queen of her show. The fucking queen. Kira Makaron. Everything. I felt everything when I when I saw her. I was just like, oh my god, like 
Hold up. Like, yes, they could They could have been smart, and they could have had Akira with her as well. We could have had mom and dad come back together and be together in a movie, and to be parents to these kids. But they were like, no, we're just going to have mom show up, and, you know, Akira, okay, dad, she, she's she at work. She, you know, she doing her nine to, no, not her nine to five. Her, um, her seven in the morning, seven at night nursing job. So, of course, they were like, hey, She's a little too busy. Yukari, Yukari is not really doing anything. So, you know what? Come on down. So, I'm happy. Like, guys, my, my number one, besides Whip, really, because everybody from that cast I love so much, um, is in this. Now, Cure Grace, aka Al Yuki. That is so weird because, Ravini, we're about to now have a movie where both Ravini and Machido are possibly going to be talking to each other. And such. And so now it's giving me like Kingdom Hearts vibes when Jesse McCartney was in the booth talking to Jesse McCartney as Roxas and freaking Ventus. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's gonna be so cute and adorable. And I, I honestly cannot wait. It's gonna be so fun. Delicious. I would have rather had spicy. I do like delicious. I, I mean, deli <laughs> delicious, precious, wrong person. I do like Cure Precious. She is still baby. I still love her regardless. But I feel like between spicy and dream, no, spicy and finale, and, um, who? Oh my god, I'm forgetting her name. Ron. Um, but it is it's that's not the name I'm thinking of. But yeah, those three. How, in my opinion, those three had a bigger impact more than Yui did. Like Yui had a good couple of episodes, really truly did, but at the same time, I felt like Yui didn't get the greatest because of the fact is we were so focused on the other three, especially Spicy and Finale, because more and more there were more episodes that focused on them and you could tell that the general like fandom and the writers and everything loved doing episodes specifically on Spicy and finale it was very obvious and such if you did not think it was obvious then it was super obvious like go rewatch that show and you can see it. it's written all over once finale officially comes in okay <sighs> my saving grace queen the the best girl <laughs> all best girls because i love her saying you so much carefully <laughs> my baby i, I just it, it's weird. It, it's weird to see her because I I really thought they would have been like, oh, hey, let's do either, you know, Miracle or Magical. But no, they were like, yes, we're, we're, we're going to do Saudi Hire Me. And I'm just like. I mean, because of course, if you know me and, you know, why I like Saudi Hymie so much and why I watch a lot of things of hers because, you know, one, she is one of my favorite slaves. Yes, of course. Like, duh, I gotta go for this and such. And it's just, it's crazy because, you know, we all know next year we're getting season two of Maho Girl. So I love that seeing her in this, it's just like, oh, hey, here's a little preview of her now. And then you get to see more of her next year. That's what I really would have liked if, Dream was also represented in this too because the freaking Go Princess series is coming out. I'm wrong. I'm I have too many freaking Predator series. Go Go is coming out in fall, so it would have made the most sense and most promotional like material to initially put Dream in it. But it's okay because Dream got her chance to shine with Healing Good. So then it's like okay, let's go ahead and put. Felice in as a represent for Maho Girls. Then you have <laughs> my space baby alien, <laughs> Cure Milky from Star Treacle. Okay, so it to me, it was just between the four Selene, Soero, um, Milky, Cosmo. Even though now, I do like your star.
And it's only really because I rewatched a couple episodes a while back ago. So now, like, it, it, it's so weird to say that now because looking back how I was and being like, yeah, I felt like I, like in the beginning I didn't, eh, and stuff. And now I went back and did a complete 360 and I'm like, no, I like Saragun and such. Um, it makes sense to have Miss Chica from Kaguya-sama, Love is War, to come in this because Elle is also played by Kaguya. So we're going to get that Kaguya-Chica interaction. So honestly, I'm here for it. I honestly cannot wait to see it. It's going to be so freaking good because initially that's all I'm going to say and such. And that's just going to give me like more happy moments for when the heck Kaguya-sama season three or four is going to come out. But still, they're going to have a lot of moments. Um, skipping my babies. All right, Miss Cure Flora, aka probably the one that majority when Go Princess is coming out. I think I will say that was majority of a lot of people's first pretty cure to see. Of course, that's another one that I will clearly recommend because, of course, Go Princess is like for for the one for this initial roster. I would literally say start with Go Princess and such because Go Princess is so good and to have someone like for flora be the one to be represented because like if you're looking at it overall we have a, a movie filled with one two um three main characters and it's funny because only um summer and precious are on sky's team and you would have you would have assumed that with team sky it would have been nothing but the lead. So that would have been Machido. Um, mm, mom, mm, Manatsu. That's what I meant to say. Manatsu, Flora, um, Yui, and, and then Sora as well. But it is different that, you know, Flora, I think Flora is going to be on Cure. Um, oh, I forgot. That is, I, I literally retweeted it too. I got to go back and check. Uh. Ooh, that's not it. Flora's gonna be on um Subasa's team. So I mean, yeah, I, I'm just I'm really excited about what they did. It makes you wonder, especially when we get into the next movie for the next year for year twenty one. Um who's gonna be represented for that? And you know, of course we're gonna have teams again. Like I think this is now the new thing that they're going to go with. I think possibly um this was a gamble. This is definitely a gamble that they have to take. So once this movie comes out in September, and depending on how much money it is going to get budget-wise um, for when the movie does come out, and of course it is going to break bank because every little kid is going to go, going to want to go see this. Um, I think this is going to pay the way of when we're going to need something after this show of okay we're now doing teams like the main cure whoever i mean cures are this the next potential series but then there is a possibility that like for teams of next season sora could be represented as one of those girls to represent her show and that's what we're getting and i and i honestly love that and i hope that they continue doing that but who really knows i mean but this is good this is really good. This is different. I mean, because I was a little afraid. I think the more and more we got, <laughs> excuse me, um, we got closer to, this is the wrong freaking pretty character. Oh my God. Um, closer to it. But now going back into it and seeing a lot of things, honestly, like, yeah, I am really excited for this. And to just see, like, hopefully we get a little more news on everything, which we are. We're getting the synopsis as of 40 minutes ago and ish. But yeah, I'm, I'm really genuinely excited for this. And of course, I'm not going to be able to watch it until sometime next year. So ultimately, I have to remind myself to watch the dang movie, just like several other things that I have to do, because I have a list of stuff that I have to do. But I mean, yeah, I honestly cannot wait to see and hopefully we do not get a lot of spoilery scenes when the movie does come out in the next couple of months but we have to wait and see but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 23 of Hidagato Sky Pretty Care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out <coughs> excuse me also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day to the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all on Saturday slash Sunday for episode 24. Bye, guys.